Hello, it is Jason Train, and welcome back. Uh, I know it's been a little bit, it's been a few days. My computer kind of died uh, a little bit, so <laughs> I wasn't able to record anything, and sadly with it dying, I lost all the progress in software, eh? But we may re I may re-record English? I may re-record that uh, at a later time, probably within the next few days, we'll start recording a season two, even though season one was cut short by a very annoying currents, which hopefully won't occur again, I'll try to find a better way to back up my files. I thought I had them backed up, and that did not go so well either. Alright, so we're in Planet Coaster, we're gonna go ahead and start off, at, we're gonna play some sandbox here, this lovely little thing called sandbox, uh, and a deciduous forest, maybe, or Arctic, grassland, desert, alpine, tropical, tropical, tropical. Um, let's go with deciduous. We'll name this, what should we name it? Uh, let's go with Urania Fun Worlds. I'm typing this all with one hand, and that, that was the result of doing so. Oh. Oh. Right. Wait, what did I select? I forgot. Whoops. Um, so yeah, my computer's having some small problems. Uh, hopefully this recording won't be cut short by one of those said problems, which is it likes to shut off at random times. Uh, and the beautifulness that is Planet Coaster and its music. Oh, we have zero guests and some people walking right in front of the gate. Look at that. Hello, people. All right. They, they don't seem too interested in me. All right. So let's see what we want to do here. Um, I'm not sure, actually. I didn't really think too far ahead. I didn't notice the files were on. And I'm like, I had 100 subs. I was planning to do Planet Coaster. Oh, look. I have over 100 subs. By the way, thank you so much for breaking 100 subs. That means a lot to me. We're gonna keep growing, I really hope so at least. Please keep growing. Uh, especially with this. Uh, I'm trying to do an everyday sort of thing to start off with, if I can. Again, I will try. I can't promise. Uh, it might be every other day. Yeah, it depends on how everything works out. I might spend all tomorrow trying to fix my other problem. Which is, by the way, my computer shuts off randomly under a high load. So, for instance, I like to do it while I'm playing Planet Coaster. So, let's hope that doesn't happen today. It usually takes like an hour. So we should be fine. Cross my fingers. Um, so I kind of want to build an entrance first, but building an entrance is a lot of scenery work, and I kind of want to just dive right into building a coaster. So we'll come back to building the entrance later. We're going to just kind of build out the path a little bit, and I really wish the plot size... Actually, today also happens to be the same day as a update to Planet Coaster, and I find this kind of interesting. It added a singular new ride, as well as some more language support, which was... What's the cube? I don't know. It's... Not that. It's not that. It's not that. It's not that. It's that. Not. Uh, I don't remember what it was called, but it, it's a cool little ride. Uh, it's this guy, Tristorm. So yeah, it's this little thing. I've seen these at parks before. They're kind of cool. I, I don't really like riding lights like this, so you never see me on one of these. But uh, there we go. That's how I do that. All right. So uh, maybe we should build a coaster to start off with. There's some cool pre-built ones. Hey, look at that. That's yeah, pretty interesting. But we're not going to do pre-built. Pre we're going to build them one by our hands. But I um, guess we're going to go into the world and build it on our own. Uh, I really like the look of this one, but this is very impractical. Actually, no. Let's plan. Let's plan. Let's do some planning. Let's get some planning out of the way. Uh, with some dirt paths. No, that's not even dirt. What am I saying? Uh, I like these paths. For a good general area, I think these are good paths. Kind of like, look like they have water underneath. It's kind of cool. So we're going to come off here. Uh, we're gonna go decent length. We're gonna go a little bit more towards the center. Alright. So that's good enough. And we'll go ahead and create some sort of... If I can... Right... Uh, there we go. That's not quite what I was looking for. Why wasn't it letting me right click? This is weird. Alright, I'm gonna... I kinda wanna build like a square or something in the middle. I don't know. We'll do something like... Yeah, we'll do something like this. Thanks, Planet Coast. You're giving me this really cool idea by just kind of existing. Uh, <laughs> Alright. If I just get rid of that, we'll let. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> nope. Alright, wait. If I pull this like that. No, that's not at all the right shape. Why well, won't it give me the shape I want? I want to go down to like there. <laughs> What's going on? No. Go away, go away, go, 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 go away. How do you exist? Alright, we'll go to about there. Or 
we'll bring it around town. Because we gotta split this place off into like some sort of world sort of thing. Most theme parks have different lands, so look at the Magic Kingdom, you have... Uh, I'll get back to you when remembers when the <laughs> Magic Kingdom, uh, there's Tomorrowland, Tomorrowland's cool. There's a movie, I don't think it's based off of it, but yeah, there's a cool movie named Tomorrowland as well, named by the same people, sort of. Um, I still don't know how I'm gonna do this, I'm, I'm kind of drawing away right here. Uh, let's just do something like this, yeah, we'll make the path split. No, not by that. Oh, no, it's All right, let's pull it right here. And it'll split off like that. Yeah, that's not how you do it. <laughs> and so fry the meat. <clears throat> Desired result if I do this this way. This is looking really derpy, man. That's not exactly, that's not even slightly what I wanted to do. If I do this, will it look good? No, not in the slightest. Just doing that. I have no clue how to do what I want to do. Wait, if I take a piece in the middle and just go up straight and straight and take no, that, no, go away. All right. <laughs> yeah, come in like this. Or not? Wait, that might be the right shape. If I do this, can I do it? Boom, and just get rid of these. Or not, why isn't one Oh, there it is. I don't know, I feel like right clicking is being a little wonky today. I mean, after all, I am using a wireless mouse, but I shouldn't make it so bad that I can't right click. Alright, so that doesn't look too bad. <laughs> I spent way too much time on that. Alright. I had a little bit of cough there. That was fun. Alright, so uh, let's spill it out a little bit. So, one way will need to be a future sort of theme. And we're not even in the center of the park. It's fine, though. It is fine. Uh, so one way will be kind of futury. The other way will be kind of s not futury, westerny, and piratey. And there's a fairy tale land and all that fun stuff. Um, I'm looking at my coasters here. My coasters. I really like this one for, f yeah, that one for a future world sort of thing going on. And this one, this one's really future. I wish you could take a cart and put it on a different track. You could get some really cool coasters that way. But sadly, you can. I thought that was like. Never mind. Yeah. How do I want to. Mm. <laughs> Dive. Crazy one. Launched. Launched. Leaping. Dragon. Windigo. Arc Rest. This one. Nah. This would be really cool for a launch coaster. No, 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 yeah, the track launches, but that wasn't my point. Um, maybe we'll just go western first. So we'll come over here. We'll, actually, first, we're gonna plan. We're gonna do a little more planning. We're gonna, we're gonna do a monorail around the park. I find the monorails and the kind of coaster really cool. So it'll go this way first, I think, to the right. Um,. Train. Monorails and Planet Coaster are really cool, but they are really cool. Just watching them go in circles is amazing to me. Um, I can't decide. Do I want train? I mean, I do like trains. But Monorail is also a train. More of a train. I cannot decide. Alright, let me know in the comments. Uh, train, Monorail, and if train, which one? You don't really have to say. I'll decide later if you really want. And I just closed out of that, that's fun. We're gonna come over here, and we're gonna go ahead and start with a mine train. No, I'm not gonna deal with a mine train right now. We're, uh, <laughs> I'm really trying to plan this thing out as I go in my head, and this is not going well. No, I don't want to start with you. No, more that one. Uh, I do want an inverted coaster. I don't want to start the Vagrest either. Alright, let's start with a launch torque coaster. This will be the beginning of Future World, although I really don't like these cars for a Future World sort of theme. Can I change the colors of the cars? Oh, uh, let's try this. Alright. Done. Customize. Can I just like get rid of the flames altogether? Will this work? I just kind of like go blue. Oh yeah, and I just do the same blue. Yeah, I got rid of the flames altogether. That's cool. Well, it's a very bland cart now. But I did get rid of the car, the, the the things. No, there's still flames. Still flames. Th those are the rocket boosters. All right. So 
That's of course not gonna go there. We have to figure out where we want this. Um, let's see. We have a lot of space here. Over here is gonna be like a futurist type thing. Uh, with a coaster in it. With a few coasters. Oh, it just moved back. With a few coasters in it, probably. Um, we'll place you there. Wait, no. We're gonna just get rid of you so we can place you again. Where's coasters? Found it. Okay. So we need to change this directioning of entrance and exit. So you can just kind of pass on through. Uh, I'll explain that a little bit more while I'm placing when I'm placing down the entrances and exits. It just helps with the flow of people. All right, so with this, we're gonna want to build a coaster. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Place it here. No, I want the exit to be on the side of the path, and the path will be over here. So we're gonna flip this around here. Get a coaster like this, and it'll launch that direction, kind of at an angle. No, not towards the exit. Kind of at an angle. Towards the park. No, you might it'll just go straight. There we go. Actually, I don't like how I placed that. <laughs> I'm not even gonna get a coaster placed by the time this video ends, let alone start designing one. Alright, so we're gonna bring it up a little bit so we can look drop down at the beginning. Alright, I don't want to auto tunnel at the moment. Okay, so we have these auto boost things. Actually it doesn't even have chain lifts. Ooh. Launches it backwards and the train passes it boosts it in the forward direction. Cool, we could probably use that later. So these will need to have a full acceleration rate and full target speed if we're going to want to get anywhere with those. But we're not going to use those yet. Oh, this has a bigger spine. Oh, yeah, I remember reading about this type of... Okay. Yeah. They, they have a thicker spine because at the... Whatever they're called, Top Hill Dragster? No, that's a different ride altogether. But the actual version of this coaster, it has that thicker spine so it doesn't need all the supports. Because if it's making a giant loop, you don't want sports all over it. Alright, so this is going to come down on the station and just slightly roll down a little bit. I kind of want to do something special, though. It's going to roll down and move to the left. My plan. It's just going to kind of roll down to the left like that. Alright, click. <clears throat> and then we're going to return on snapping. Make it go to zero degrees. And have some sort of launch section because it's a space coaster. Space coaster. Alright, so let's make that really long so we get some really good speed on that. Probably gonna wanna. Oh, hello, day. Well, I'm, I'm gonna make it so it only stays day. There we go. We're gonna make it so it has catwalks. I think that might look cool. Maybe. We'll, we'll decide. Alright, so we'll launch for three sections. And is that three now? This is three. And we'll start pulling up. And I just realized how much space that path needs to go around. Hmm. Let's go underground thing. Let's go underground. So we're gonna go into auto tunnel here. We'll fill back in the land we don't want. All right, that's gonna be snapped a little bit. That's fine. All right. And then we'll unsnap that and move it back. I'm just gonna go down underground. Oh, I hate how the camera does that. Ooh, okay, where am I? Yeah, how the camera does that when you go underground. Alright, so let's go first person cam. Alright, we're gonna start pulling up a little bit. We want some uh, trim brakes. So it just doesn't speed it, actually. I gotta and then level out. So it levels out about there. And then this is where the really insane high speed track track goes. Because English. So I have three sections of this, and then I'll come up. Two, three. And then it begins its incline. Gentle incline, please. That will slowly become more and more violent. <laughs> Let's have a train going while we do this. I think this will be cool. I think it started out going underground. Alright. Uh, there. We're just gonna start shooting straight up in the air. And we'll figure out what it does when we get up to the air. Alright, so that's 90 degrees. So we'll go up one more. That's a lot of ugly supports. We're gonna try out supports. 
and we'll figure out what we want to do with those. So I don't necessarily want it to loop here, but that's probably the safest thing to do at this high of a speed, is to do some sort of loop, or... Wait, how fast does it go when it gets there? Right. What? Oh, hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> Landry is set of the coast, went flying off the track. Alright, so... It goes in the tunnel, and then extremely high speeds. It flies out of the tunnel at 94 miles an hour. Alright, so we have our thick spined track here. Oh, I think we're gonna do a loop. I really don't want to do a loop, but we're gonna do a loop. Very gradual loop. How high is this? 111 meters. Okay, that's not that bad. That's just going really slow by the time it reaches the top of that loop. Alright, and we'll just kind of go about looping it, and we'll start providing a little bit of a bank on the way down, so we can kind of avoid the coaster on the other side. We'll start being, moving a little bit that way, we'll pull it in a little bit. <coughs> didn't quite like that for a moment. Wait, this is not at all what I want. What's going on here? It was, what? Alright, control Z. Let's control Z a little bit. Uh, Alright, so, we put in, do about there, and move it a little bit more this way, or I guess that way for that matter. Smoothing to happen. Oh, it doesn't even make it to the top. Alright, so let's undo that. <clears throat> and we'll kind of, right here, it'll just start to loop. Yeah, there we fall off the track so it can reset itself. Or maybe it'll just kind of come out of the loop and do something crazy. Although, not too crazy. Kind of looping to something crazy here. Oh, uh, track support should be off. I want to just turn on an optional catwalk, no thanks. Alright, so let's just go back here and smooth this out, because this is a mess. There we go, that should be much better. I'm sorry. I have a little bit of a cough. Oh yeah, and the results are really good when you do that. Alright, nice. So I don't even figure out where to go from here. So we're gonna go ahead and bank a little bit to the left, and I want a banking offset. So it goes a little bit to the left, a little nicer. And go down. Alright, and we'll begin our descent that slowly turns. We'll go ahead and make it a little steeper. It's a little bit more exciting. We'll turn a little bit more and bank a little bit more. Alright, so this turns nicely. Let's see what the people think of it when they get up to it. And we'll go ahead and pull out of it a little nicer as well. Alright. So, really high, all that fun stuff. And then I come down at the excitement lowers, the fear goes insane. Same with the nausea. Alright, we're gonna put a small brake section here of trim brakes. Those always seem to do the trick after doing one of these, and we'll kind of smooth in and out. And up and turn off auto tunneling. I really should start smoothing out around here uh, a little lower so it's, it's a bit smoother. Alright. Should get the results a little better and we'll go ahead and pull it back up. Uh, let's see what rolls we can do. Rolls are always fun. I've heard there's a special type of roll with this type of coaster that's like this. Top hat. And this is really cool to me. Let me get there. It changes rotation. Really wonky loop right there. Uh, no. So I think doing this will help relieve a lot of the. Actually, I kind of want to do a loop that pulls back on itself. So we'll go with one of these. The pencil.
that's quite insane. But if we turn on auto sum, it should work. Yeah. That actually might turn out really good. But let's turn on auto sum all the way. Alright, I feel like this will go really good if we do it. Make it a bit. Fear skyrocketed. Does not appear to be going down. Alright. <coughs> actually, I want to undo that so it gets rid of the terraforming. Turn off auto tunnel and we'll just kind of pull it up a little bit. So it doesn't, so the fear can kind of have a chance to fully lower a bit. Pull it back up. I feel like this is a really weird shaped coaster. I want to see where the coaster is. Where is it? Right here. So the fear kind of got better there. Now that we did that. So if we do a roll now. Cobra. Oh, that's insane. Come on. Just hop. Hop. Not hop. Uh, I, I kind of like the pretzel a lot. Mainly because I eat a lot of pretzels and I just use pretzels really well. Because I eat a lot of pretzels. Let's do it around that segment. No, not even. Alright, let's do this around it. Can't do that at all. Doing that would probably be very insane. So we'll just kind of keep it there, but it goes in the wrong direction, so we'll do it that way. I feel like it's out of place, especially without any supports in it. Can I select it, please? Can I, can I be selected? There we go. And transports. That's even crazier, but you know what? It is what it is. We'll, we'll find something to make it look better later. For now, it, uh, it's a pretzel loop with some random supports. Oh, it did. Nice. And the results are pretty good. Will have enough speed? It will. Alright, let's just do kind of like a... Kind of a gradual turn thing here that also at the same time does this. Where it rotates itself like a snake. And then we'll come back to the station. Kind of a short coaster, but it's all good. This is kind of helpful lose some speed. So we'll end the station here. We come down here. Let's go ahead and add a... What's it called? We're gonna put a little thing. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. A thing. A block section. That's what it's called. Right after the station? Or like a little thing and then after the station? Or how am I... Let's do a little thing after the station. Or we can just extend the platform and have multiple trains. No, we'll just do a little thing after the station. Hello. And it's you there. And we'll put some magnet bricks after that. Come down a bit and yeah, that's good. So we'll go ahead and take this and let's look at how autocomplete suggests we do it. That is a bit crazy, so we're gonna kinda come down here. Gonna rotate it like this. And get some nice rotation on it. We'll put some trim brakes on it. So it look, so it slows down the train a little bit on this descent into madness. And we'll kind of get rid of those while we do this. Want to complete it? There we go. That should come out relatively good, kind of, maybe. Probably not. Smo do some smoothing. I feel like this isn't doing much. We'll do a little bit more smoothing here. Alright, the speed into that station was a bit crazy, I do have to say. So we'll put some more trim brakes in. Trim brakes. I feel like they take this much better. Alright, I think that's much better, and we'll go ahead and make this a little smoother as well. Oh, there you go. That's not what I wanted, that just completely smoothed the track. Um, let's undo this, so it's back to being like that. And we'll come over here, and we'll select only this section. And we'll smooth it. No, it really just kind of wants to undo it. I think I see why. An overbank turn here. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do in the slightest. So let's just kind of undo this and turn it into a turn that does the thing I want it to do. It should be kind of like this, although it had really good results. This is probably what. This probably is the best results I ever got on Planet Coaster before. Alright, that 
looks really deadly and not so nice. Alright, so if we do that, that'll turn out much better. We'll just kind of smooth it. Alright, and smooth all this. And undid it again. This was planning coaster undoing my really cool turns. We'll just move each individual part. There we go, that's kind of what I wanted to do. No, not really. It did, did it weird again. Just like, we're into this one thing that did, did not what I wanted to do. Alright, this looks hectic. Yeah. Oh, stop doing that. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of that tower turn completely. No, it looks really boring. Alright, we'll get rid of the entire segment of those cream planet custom ones. So yeah, that's kind of what we want. That's really high. And it's really high. Alright, that ends up upside down though. I want it to be upside down. Uh, it's gonna end up upside down. It's not what I want. Do any of these not end up upside down? So it ends right? And we'll exit. Yeah, that's what I want. Let's exit the left. Let's adjust this track. Okay. Alright. So we'll turn a little bit of tilt. We'll make it a trim break. And then we'll. Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted to do! Alright. Turn, trim breaks. Maybe go down just a little bit. Alright, and let's just auto complete for those two segments. Alright, let's see if we can clean this up, smooth it out a little bit. It's not as crazy right there. You know, we're gonna go back to that auto, to that overbank turn. Because it got me really good results. I wonder how this gets in terms of results. Let's see. We're probably gonna think this is killing them. Let's see. They pull into the station. Really slowly into the station, actually. Uh, I'll keep it. I'll, I'll stick with it. I really would like to clean it up like this. Ah, uh, I actually kind of cleaned it up a little bit. Huh. Undoing everything. Yeah, we'll keep it like this. Smooth it out a bit. Smooth this a bit. It did another rotation, actually. That's interesting on its own right there. Huh. Let's go ahead and take all this and just kind of smooth out this section. Uh, it's not going to really smooth that. I don't want to smooth those pretzels. Pretzels probably already pre-smoothed. I'll kill the cart. That's fine. It is fine. Alright, so let's... Actually, that looks a little bit weird here. Some track segments on it. Alright. Track segments? Track supports, for that matter. And then I want to smooth all. I just kind of... I got a notification. Oh, it's the fact that there's no way to get into the rides properly. Let's move this. Over here, all right. We'll go ahead to the station. That looks like it'd kill them, in my opinion. Probably get better results after it's smoothed. This here is the epitome of the coaster I would never want to ride in real life. Cause look at this loop. Also, look how drunk this looks. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's these really weird turns and turns into this really lovable coaster for some reason like look at this 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 isn't no this is gross we'll keep it all right so yeah that's this coaster this, this is this coaster is more or less done let's let's go ahead and stop the test and start it again and ride it uh first person please let's go kind of stuff. we're going underground in the tunnel i'm watching this Oh, right. So that kind of puts that out a little bit. Really. Really 
this sound. This is my favorite sound in the entire game. Sound. All right. So yeah, we got pretty good ratings, and I just poked my mic by accident. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna let it go while I'm speaking. Cinematic mode. But thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, probably more of this at some point soon. Don't know when. I uh, just went underground, so thanks for the coaster. Do a like, comment, subscribe, special for more. Also, if you don't like it, uh, for the second season, hopefully it will. Uh, it's just my computer's problems had its everything deleted, which really annoys me a lot, and I really hope this came out, this recording here, <laughs> for the same reason, and I'm surprised the computer didn't kill itself during this, which is good, it's good. Uh, so, thanks for watching, guys. Remember, write, like, comment, subscribe, and share it. Sharing does a lot because it gets more people to do those exact things. And that's sickening to watch right there. So, uh, also, you'll probably do live streams of scenery, which will then be time-lapsed down in that thing called Twitch, which it will be in that description down below. Uh, if I do decide to do it that way, which I probably will because, to be honest, scenery can be a little bit boring. I mean, I, I like scenery, but it's a group, I don't know, it's on both. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, catch you next time, bye.